What is the crack, lads? Welcome back to another Player of the Week pack review. We've got a couple of decent ones here, lads. We've got a couple of decent players. If you are new to the game, there's new people downloading the game the whole time, so welcome to the channel. Uh, here you will find player reviews, squad reviews, hidden gems, Dream Team Chronicles, where we take on... Uh, the best of the online eFootball world as we try to get up to Division 1 and try to have some good gameplay. But a lot of what I do, oh my battery's gone, a lot of what I do is do the player reviews of players uh, that I think you guys should buy or maybe avoid. Man, why is Henderson doing with it? Is that, is that Yashin? Lev Yashin? Henderson, what are you doing with the hat, man? Oh my days. Does he have, to? oh man, if he had the hat, I definitely would have tried spin for him. As gas. But yeah, we are going to be taking a look at these players. Obviously, these guys have no player level. So you can't train them up. You don't need to train them up. You don't need to grind progression points or anything like that. What you see is what you get here. These are the final form of these. So um, these are going to be the players that you guys will get if you do spin for the player of the week. And they are going to be the final form of the players. So there's no training. There's no level up. There's no change in their stats. There's nothing like that. It's what you see is what you get. So we have got a couple of good picks. Um, and I am just going to go through them here quite quickly. Because we've got a center back here. We have a center back here. And we have one, two, three uh, CFs. And then we have kind of a winger, a right back in Trippier. And then we obviously have AMF and CMF. I mean, Diaz is a, is a monster. He's a, he's going to be a good player. And I know Rabio is going to be a good player as well. So we're going to start with the two center backs because usually the way that they operate with these center backs is they do have a lot of player skills, obviously to be able to be able to compete, to be able to be able to, uh, to be able to compete with the, the kind of meta players such as Van Dyke and Diaz and all those type of center backs that you can buy for GP. Um, but yeah, I mean, this guy's acceleration is going to let him down a bit because his defensive awareness is a little bit too low. He does have man marking interception, blocker, sliding tackle. Uh, he does have everything that you could possibly need there as a center back. He's also quite big and tall, so he definitely is worth a punt. But yeah, there is probably better center backs there. Similarly, we've got Balker here, who is on A form. These players are all on A form. He has inconsistent form, so that kind of rules him out for me that if I did get him, he's just your run of the mill. I mean, I would definitely recommend Timber over this guy because Timber goes to an 85 overall, I think it is, but he's got better individual stats for what you need in a center back. This guy isn't tall enough, isn't strong enough, isn't fast enough, and I do think that even though his team play style is there and he doesn't have enough player skills, you know, he doesn't have a lot of the player skills that you need, even though he has interception and blocker which are the best two he's going to be limited in other ways right Henderson again 90 reflexes very good this guy could be end game except that he does have standard form but he does have a low punt which is extremely useful if you don't have a giant team if you don't have two or three really strong aerial players which to be honest nobody really has now because the meta is all about keeping it on the floor and you know pass and move triangles touch and go whatever um, but this guy is a good player, man. I've had Henderson's standard card for a long time. His standard card goes to an 88 or 89 overall. So I think what pushes pushes this up a little bit is his jumping and kicking power and physical contact, which will be good in around the box. But to be honest, lads, look, any goalkeeper you get is going to make stupid saves. And some games they'll be, you know, like absolutely un stoppable that you just won't be able to get past them so um you are going to be running a risk i still recommend donnarumma above anybody else we have also got trippier right back again his 78 defensive awareness 74 offensive awareness he's got a good engine on him he's got a lot of player skills he's got early crosser and long ball expert as his playing style so you know crosses into the box he's also got blocker and interception which for a right back is extremely useful i think that trippier could be a really underappreciated and underrated right midfielder if you play him in kind of a defensive mindset um but you're still able to get forward with him because he does have 81 ball control he does have 87 lofted pass so if you get into the right areas you're going to be able to you know swing balls in uh left right and center you can just plow them into the box finesse power driven shots into the box as well um and i definitely do think with that weighted pass and pinpoint crossing and low lofted pass you are going to be able to get a lot of balls into the box so i definitely think he's worth a look lacazette is a center forward again you're going to be looking at his finishing and his acceleration. If he's going to be leading the line, no, he's not going to do it for you. He does have a lot of player skills. He does have standard form. He's on A rating, but no, he's not going to do it for me. Uh, he has dipping shot, first time shot, one touch pass, true passing. 
could you play him as kind of leading the line beside somebody like has it like a less s beside him or something i personally don't think so as a deep line forward there's a lot better players out there uh, that you could you know imply in that role but if you do spin him let me know what you guys think uh we also have Burgos, Burgos, Burgos. i need to work on my pronunciations as i'm getting too much slag enough you guys um you know but we will work on that he does have unwavering form now this guy excites me a little bit the reason why and i'll tell you right he's one of the packs of the picks of the pack right he can play left wing right wing amf cmf dmf and right back right midfield which is extremely useful if you want him on your bench especially when he's a form right also on top of that he's got a wide variety of player skills i always look for a player that has got shooting skills dribbling skills and and uh passing skills if you're looking to get a player for kind of like your main squad this guy's got dip and shot long range shoot long range curl and he's also got 85 curl and 82 finishing as a cmf this guy is going to be a monster i would definitely play him as a right winger or a right midfielder to be able to cut in and similar how i described trippier that's how i'd be using him here with the pinpoint crossing he also has early crosser and long ball expert but this guy can keep opponents honest as well because he's also got long ranger that he can actually shoot unlike trippier he's going to have a bit about him going forward his passing stats are extremely high as well so on to the main kind of four guys right and we also have uh brahim diaz here as well um lataro martinez lads is a very very good striker his standard version of the card is extremely good he's got all the player skills you could possibly want as a striker he doesn't have acrobatic oh he does have acrobatic finishing sorry lads that's my fault he also has unwavering form which is huge this guy is going to be used a lot this week trust me with the player form i'm going to be doing a video on players that you could you should swap in or buy on your squad that are a form because you're going to be listen if you pack your team full of a form players and their form arrows are up if you've got six players plus in your starting 11 that are on a form you are going to be getting like stat boost galore like absolutely stat boost galore so it does make a huge difference again this guy can lead the line for you he reminds me of romario he's as close as you're going to get to romario if you do not have romario so you know if you've seen me play romario you know how good he is the same with brahim diaz he's been one of my hidden gems for months and months and months he's got unbelievable dribbling unbelievable uh passing even though his low passes on the 81 trust me lads his passing is better than that this is a guy that plays way above his stats, whether it's a mixture of player ID, whether it's a mixture of his uh, actual AI um, itself and his play style and all that. He's got very unique stats. 89 dribbling, 93 balance, 88 acceleration. Unbelievable for an AMF. If you do not have Messi, if you do not have Ronaldinho, if you do not have Neymar, if you do not have one of the other hidden gems that I featured like Nakunku on my channel, I definitely think if you spin this guy, he is nearly end game. Um like attacking midfielder he is small he is small that's one thing as well but look you're going to be using this guy as an iniesta type player he's not really the best finisher i would be using him as an ss or an amf and literally just be you know you know like bringing everybody into the play one touch pass as well now moving on to dembele and griezmann i haven't really lads i'm not going to be honest i'm not going to i'm not going to be honest i'm not going to lie i will be honest that i haven't really used griezmann that much this year even on my xbox profile uh, or my secondary profile on the ps5 uh, where i you know train a lot of standard players with my gp um i haven't really used griezmann i remember back in pez 2018 he was an absolute monster for me because he was all about like passing and touching and going and he could have the finishing he has got amazing stats apart from his speed and acceleration which aren't really end level but i think again as an ss if you are playing three up front and you have an ss an ss and an elite a leading the line striker like Lewandowski or ronaldo or uh, mbappe that's able to lead the line for you and you can just pick and pop passes with griezmann you can also you know have that curl and finesse shots with him that i like to do with neymar i definitely think he's worth a pop lads he's worth a look at and then last but not least, we have my main man, Dembele. I'm still working on his player review, lads. But trust me, he is going to be one of the highest rated players that I review. And he is going to get one of the highest ratings ever. There is a couple of things you have to accept with Dembele, right? Firstly, he is not going to be, you know, consistent for you with his form. He has standard form, but he is down a lot of the time, I see. He doesn't have that unwavering form. But he does have that golden trinity of stats. 93 dribble and 90 speed, 90 acceleration. 84 balance his stamina isn't the best but it's better than a lot of other wingers that are similar to him similarly rated to him and i think that his standard card is insane but this card looks like the real deal as well so that is it for the player of the week review lads let me know what you think let me know if you get levy ashen as well uh he could be good for you but yeah that is it for me i will talk to you in a bit don't forget to subscribe check out other videos peace